Hello again everyone, it's June here and um, if you're wondering why I look like I've been dragged through a hedge um, it's because I'm not in work today because I, I'm actually very sick. I have a, a really bad tummy bug and it's not very nice but um, anyway since I'm here um, I have had a few requests to do a tutorial on the sort of plum eyeshadow look that I had on the other day. Um, so I said, while I'm here, I will do this. So my last tutorial was an unmitigated disaster. It was just awful. So I'm gonna try again and see if this is any better. Um, I'm using the HD camera, so you know, um, I'm here in all my unadorned glory this, morning, this afternoon, um, which is freaking me out. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do it anyway um, and let you see uh, what, what, how I did it or whatever. Now the products I'm using, unfortunately, you know, there are going to be some people who can't get the exact things. But I will show you, uh, to start with, some uh, ideas for dupes uh, for different things. Um, the first thing I'm using is the Illamasqua um, Cream Pigment in Delirium. Now I don't know if there's a dupe for that. I actually doubt that there is, unless there's... Is there a paint pot in that sort of matte pink? I don't think so. Um, I've never seen one, but who knows. So that's that one. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a dupe for that. Um, the other thing then is the Accessorize Eyeshadow in Coco, which is one of their merged eyeshadows. Now this, um, I looked through all my MAC eyeshadows and I came up with this one. Um, where is it now? It's here somewhere. I think it's this one here. No, is it? Yeah. Sorry about this guys, I'm a bit disorganized today. I think it's, no it's not that one. Oh, sorry guys, it's terrible. Um, yeah, it's this eyeshadow here, which is quite similar to the Accessorize one. See there, they're quite similar. Um, now, this is the point at which you just turn off and go, this girl's channel is a waste of space. Um, the actual eyeshadow that I have uh, doesn't actually have the name on the back of it because it was one of the early ones I depotted and I had a disaster with um, a disaster with uh, labels and stuff. So I am wondering, I'm not sure, is that Twinks? It could be... Um, that, there it is anyway, and you know, if you do have some MAC eyeshadows, you might be able to tell me what you think that might be. Um, but it's very close dupe anyway, so it is it is uh, something that is dupable anyway, and it's just a kind of a plum brown anyhow. So um, Then the eyeliner is this new ID Cosmetics Eyeliner Trio, and here it is here. And I'm going to be using this one here, which is called Indigo, although it's it's aubergine, really. Um, now, you can get a couple of dupes for this colour. Firstly, the uh, e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in Plum Purple is a very similar shade. And also, um, I have one here called Plumkin, which I got from... Oh, God, I think it's like one of these generic eyeliners that you can get. Um, loads of different set sites will sell them, like Coastal Sense and things like that. Uh, so they are very very available and I'm sure Mac has one as well which I just don't have so anyway without further ado I'm just gonna go on and do this and see if I can reproduce the makeup I had on the other day so hopefully you won't see my um, my mirror too much because the last time I tried to film a tutorial all that you could see was the back of my mirror which wasn't very good so I'm just priming my eye at the moment I'm using Benefits FYI primer which is actually discontinued now which is very sad but I'm just using up this this one I already have a little bit of concealer on and um, that's really all I have on at the moment on my face so there you go so that's that um, now so the first thing I always I do like to use a primer under these cream pigments because they do they say they're crease resistant um, but they will crease after a few hours, uh, particularly if your eyes are deep set, like mine, I do have quite a deep crease here. So they do definitely crease, so I would say, look, put a primer underneath and um, 
set with a powder eyeshadow if you want for it to last a bit longer. So I'm taking the Louise Young brush. This is the LY39, which is just a very nice um, sort of flat shading brush. Okay, and I'm using that. And I'm just gonna, sorry, butter fingers. I'm just gonna take some of that eyeshadow, some of that cream pigment, I should say. And I'm just gonna pop it all over the lid of my eye like that, just up to the crease and blending it a little out the side. It's not, it's, it's a very natural shade. I really love this color for my skin tone, which is sort of a light skin tone with kind of blue undertones almost. Um, really, really, really nice. So I'm just kind of gonna soften the edge of that there. I'm doing this super quick because I don't want this to take forever. So here we go again, I'm just going to apply that. They blend really nicely with the brush actually, or with your fingers, but they're actually really quite easy to um, use with a with brush. So you see I've, I've brought that quite, I've brought that quite high over the crease. I'm bringing it sort of almost three quarters of the way up the eye, um, so that the colour will show above the dark eyeshadow. So that's that on. All right. The next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to take another Louise Young brush. This is just another flat shader brush. I don't have the number on this one, but it's a nice flat brush, sort of 239 shaped, but uh, bigger. And I'm going to put it into a soft rose pink matte eyeshadow. Now, again, this is another MAC one which again, unfortunately, oh, hang on, maybe it does have, this is actually quite spoiled, it's the shade quite spoiled, and it's from the um, Palace Pedigreed uh, Quad from the Fabulous Felines collection. So I don't know, I mean, there I know a MAC do other eyeshadows that are similar to that, but it's just a soft matte pink, similar in color to the cream eyeshadow I've just applied. So I'm just taking some of that on this brush, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid again and it's really just to set that colour so that's really what that's there for okay so don't don't spare the powder eyeshadow here um, First time I did this look, I didn't actually do this step, and I did regret it later because I did get a fair bit of creasing after, so I said no, I think a powder eyeshadow on top. So there we are. So, so far it's not really looking very dramatic, um, it's a very natural thing, very natural look, um, so far. Now, the next step is, again, I am reaching for another of my Louise Young brushes, and this is another one which doesn't have a number on it. But it's just a round kind of crease brush. It's a fairly big one. So depending on the size of your eye, you might want to use a smaller crease brush. And I'm gonna go into this accessorized eyeshadow. This is a merged eyeshadow in Coco, as I've mentioned already. Um, and it's just a kind of a plum color. So I'm gonna take a good bit of that on the brush. And I'm just taking it into the outer corner here, outer V. This is a very nice eyeshadow, very blendable, very soft. And you can get this from the accessorize.co.uk website. They deliver all over Europe as far as I'm aware. There is a USA shop based shop as well for accessorize but they don't sell the cosmetics so unfortunately so as you see now I'm bringing that into the crease and just swiping it along the crease and the outer V like that so it's pretty subtle and then under the eye 
again just using the tip of this brush bringing it in and I'm not bringing it right into the inside corner of the eye I'm just concentrating it um, in the outer corner just to uh, intensify and define the eyes a little bit more so darkest in this outer corner here and then just bringing it a little bit into the crease there my mirror keeps showing I'm so sorry okay so that's that and just the other eye then Those eyeshadows are huge. There's two grams of product, I think, in each one, so they're pretty big. They'll last you a long, long time. Okay. So, just get this under the eye now. So it's fairly smudgy under the eye. I'm not going for anything too heavy or intense looking because I'm going to put some eyeliner in now. So I'm just keeping my eyes open to finish the kind of blending. So I want to kind of make sure that the colour does show outside of the crease and it's, you know, it's slightly visible. So I'm just kind of blending it up with my eyes open so I can see where that's all going to end up. Okay, so that's that. Um, okay, so the next step then is the eyeliner, I suppose. Or maybe I'll do the brows next, what? Brows. For brows, I use this product almost every day. It's the Blink Eyebrow Mousse in Light Brunette. Now, I know I am not a light brunette, but I really do think that if you're going to do brows, you don't want to do them as dark or darker than your own eyebrows, usually. And sometimes you might want to make them particularly dark, but for me, I really just look like some sort of Russian president if I make my eyes my eyebrows too dark so I'm just gonna very lightly emphasize them with this brow mousse which is great it's kind of a multi-purpose product it holds your brows in place and it also um, fills them in without being too strong or heavy so it's great for just daytime if I was doing this as an evening look I'd probably use uh, an, an eyeshadow um, to define my brows or a brow powder and also I might use a shimmery shade on my eyelids but for daytime this is just right now so I uh, eyeliner then um, again here we are with our new uh, ID cosmetics trio and I'm going to use a brush this is the brush that I usually use for eyelining and it's it's actually a little uh, a tiny little curved brush like this with a round top just a flat little brush. I find this the easiest one for eyelining. I find the angled brushes are difficult to use. Just It's just a personal thing. I just do find them really, really hard to master. So I find with this, it's just easier. So I'm going to go into this now. Gosh, I'm almost out of this eyeliner. I really love it. The colour is amazing. So I'm just going to go and do the eyeliner now. Okay, so starting uh, with the upper lid, I, I usually just start in the middle and just go along and then kind of gradually move toward the inner corner and I have tried so many times to line my eyes with my eyes open and I just can't do it it's impossible for me just impossible so what I'm doing then is I'm bringing that then slightly higher toward the outer corner. It's not a flicked eyeliner, but it's just kind of getting slightly thicker from the inner corner to the outer corner. Okay, so there it is there. It's not a super intense color either. It's just, it does emphasize your eyes really well, I think. And then for the lower lash line then, I'm just gonna put my finger in here and just slightly evert my eyelid my lower lid and I'm just going to waterline here okay so I'm just going along the lash line there and again for me I find with my eye shape 
I tend not to go right into the inner corner because it just closes my eyes too much. Um, very seldom do I actually line right into the inner corner. I just find it's, it's unflattering for me. So I'm just going to load a good bit of eyeliner onto the waterline there. And then I'm just bringing a little bit out along the lower lash line as well. Sorry about the mirror, guys. I'm really, really bad at this. Again, just making sure that the eyeliner is really well, you know, worked into the lower, into the actual lash line itself. And that there are no gaps. So that's the eyeliner applied. You know, if you can see that it makes a difference. So I'm going to do the other eye now. Thicken it up again to the outer corner, slightly thicker line. And you can smudge this or you can leave it well defined. I am going to try and soften it a little bit. I mean, I'm just going to smudge it slightly. And that's all I do to soften my eyeliner. I just dab it with my finger and it softens the edge just a little bit, not a whole lot. And we will waterline again. I've just dipped my brush into the wrong colour, so that's clever. Not to worry, you know exactly what I'm doing even if I don't. Okay. So, I'm so sorry about my mirror. So that's the eyeliner done. Okay. Now, mascara. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, okay. Eyelash curler. This is the uh, what's it called? Green Bell or something? I think is the Green Bell is the is the brand. Um, I got this from MakeupDesignery.com. This is the brand that they kind of sell, and it's a nice one. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. And one thing I did forget to do, actually, I told you I was crap at this, um, was to put on a highlight, brow, brow bone highlighter. Now, often for everyday wear, I just put some translucent powder up under the eye. I don't go crazy with highlighter. But what I'll do for this for the purpose of this tutorial is I'm going to use a little bit of Gesso, which is just a matte white eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm just going to tap on a little bit of that. Just a little bit. It's not the most pigmented white eyeshadow in the world, but it does the job. And also, I'm just going to blend this a little bit more because it's just a little bit harsh. So you just have to work work as you go and just perfect it as you go along. Now, okay, so that's the eyeshadow done, and now for mascara. The mascara I'm going to use is one of my favourites. Um, it's the Ico Magic Mascara, um, which is just has the most beautiful packaging in the world. It is gorgeous. It's a purple, little rhinestones on it, and it's really amazing and beautiful. Um, 
but uh, it's only 10 euro and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow. So I really, really like it. Or mascara, I should say. Very, very good for definition. Adds lots of length. It's really amazing stuff. So I'm just gonna apply my mascara now. Looking down into my mirror. And I don't know if you can see what that mascara is doing in on camera, but it is just, makes your lashes really feathery and long and find this tube is actually almost empty now and the lower lashes just give them a little little bit as well I'm not going to apply loads of coats of mascara because that would just take all day and annoy everybody so I'm just going to pop one coat on just whatever mascara you like to use yourself, obviously. So there we go, that's that. So that's the eyes, done. Now blush, blush I used that day. I actually used um, the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in the Delirium color as a blush and it works extremely well. So I'm just going to use it, I'm, and I'm just literally applying it with my fingers. So just getting my finger in there, um, and just applying it to just the top of my cheekbone, and a little bit down into the hollow of the cheek, and sweeping it backwards. I always just apply blush, just kind of maybe a third under my eye. Never weigh in here because that will just put years on you. You will age yourself. If you put blush right under here, keep it to the outside where it has a more contouring effect. And never ever smile. But that's my rule. But if you like smiling, smile away. I'm just applying the blush into the hairline and working it into the hairline like that. Okay. That is going to just give a nice definition and it's just a really nice, it's a really nice colour. So that's really it. Um, if you want to, you could put a little bit of powder blusher over that if you want to make it last a bit longer. And I think that this one here, which is Max Breath of Plum, is actually quite a close colour to the delirium color so I'll just throw that on as well I'm just going to use a Hakuhodo blush brush and it just, it does complement that color quite quite well and this is a sheer tone blush so it's not too heavy so that's it now so that's the the look done. Uh, for lips I can't remember what I wore <laughs> that day so I am going to just pop on a little bit of this delirium again because um, it's just a great colour. It works for everything. So again I'm not using a lip pencil or anything like that. I'm just doing this because I'm too lazy to go and get a lipstick. But it's a great colour anyway. So there you go. That sort of finishes it off. Um, that's the look. Um, this is just a big red bit on my cheek. Which I should have concealed. But I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's just when you're sick everything looks awful. So that's the look, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was a little bit better than my last one. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, I will have some other videos on the way. I do have to do my nail polish collection because I did promise I would do that and some people are kind of excited to see it. So I'll do that. And um, 
I do have a little a little few products I bought the other day when I was shopping for Deb in Dublin and um I um was I had a big party for my birthday uh last weekend and I got a lot of amazing gifts, vouchers and whatever, so I will be going on a major um haul frenzy in the next while, so expect more videos of that, of that type um, from me. That's really it. Um, I hope I'll be better tomorrow so I can go back to work and uh, if anyone wants to ask me for any more tutorials or anything like that please do. I will talk to you all soon and uh, yeah take care so bye bye.